Hi. <laughs> Man, some great destiny that found us, right? <laughs> and I want to check my dresser a second time because this is really stupid. There's nothing useful in here. You're telling me that an adorable little bobblehead of a Loftwing that I totally wish Nintendo would make real merchandise of is not useful. You're telling me that my manly new purse is not useful. And you're telling me that a wooden sword when I'm completely unarmed is not useful. I mean, I guess there's like books in there too or something like that though, but this is Night Academy. If I wanted to learn how to read, I'd go to real school. I'm here to learn how to run around and hit stuff, damn it. That's what's important in life. Pip it, pip pip, cheerio, jolly good. I'm so happy that you are loaning me your expertise and guidance, yes. But pretty handsome in it, but still not as dreamy as him. Mmm, I know how this goes. I smell a late game side quest that's gonna have us prying into your personal life and getting you together with a guy whether you're ready or not. I know how these things go and I'm a sucker for them, I can't wait. Tell those that's just your juice that determines how capable you are of doing things before you need to reload on said juice. And that's a really gross way of saying that. Wow. Didn't think before I spoke, some things never change. And you, you are that lunch lady who was too late. I must punish thee in the name of Pippet. What do you think you're doing? You better clean that up. Uh, I'm sorry, lady. Uh, that blow to the head must have been really intense if you think the room is a mess because the barrel actually just disintegrated after impact. But, uh, okay. Uh, um, and also, good luck dealing with that lady, Fledge. Uh, I need to get out of here before they suspect me of anything. You'll take the heat for me, right? Thanks, buddy. Bye. And, um, you know, I kind of like being a dirty boy. Link! You still don't get it? Uh, we don't need to inform the headmaster of this, do we? <laughs> I found Elvis! He's living on a hunk of rock in the sky! Somebody inform the tabloids. I'm sure one of them will publish it. We are finally here. I swear it wasn't my fault, Zelda. It was the tutorials. They come at you from out of nowhere, and they never shut up. I'm sorry, but just look at the size of his eyebrows! Those things are glorious! There are some amazing eyebrows in Nintendo, but man, Inspector, <laughs> no, not Inspector. Headmaster Kebora has got the most glorious ones I've seen in a very long time. Kid, just because Granny got a concussion doesn't mean it's now the cool hip thing to do. You shouldn't be doing that. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and just got lost? Nice hair! Been waiting to use this one. I was so glad Headmaster Kebora wasn't the one to give me a choice right after I said I'd be a jerk to the next guy. I suppose you <laughs> <laughs> forget it i wasn't supposing anything okay you over here uh zelda's in the skies so i can call you the pretty lady like i see you yeah you got a sword our practice sword no less it this is where i'd use my shield if i had one <laughs> Everybody, it's Chugga Conroll. <laughs> the face that Keese is making. <laughs> He's just like, ah, the agony. Can you hurry and press A so it can be over? I'm just rambling here at this point to make him suffer. Hey, Link. I was hoping to. I just. <laughs> Sorry, Zelda. I didn't mean to make you sound like adults. Flying idly by and letting you use their unborn children as weapons. Yeah, I know that eggs like that are not fertilized, so they never had any chance of being alive. But still, just. You are using bird babies to hurt me with in front of the birds that laid them, presumably in midair, which is kind of weird, actually, and quite dangerous. But yes, now we can jump from any height without the fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. Man, is pushing me off of cliffs just the way you say you like me? Uh, I don't think this is such a good idea. I don't. Uh, I don't think this is such a good idea. A uh, gust of wind! Gust of wind! Ah! Now, let's play a game of chicken. My statue is faded in, and whoop! He has a painting of himself in view of the direction that his bed faces. Um, that's best not thought about. I just didn't see any need to actually head down here before, and whoa! Uh, that was very cool! Uh, come to me for all your hot speedrunning tips. Please don't, I'm actually not qualified whatsoever. But that was pretty cool, even you have to admit. Uh, but that's not so cool. Uh, you're vulnerable. You're not able to hurt me. Well, um, time to finish the job! Inspector, er, Inspector, Instructor is not, Instructor is not around to save you this time! I can't even do my battle call because you made me so nervous! 
But yeah, she's got no, she's really not. Yeah. Uh, well, this is awkward. I guess with you here, I can't be all Groose did it, now can I? Do you know anything about that? Yeah, actually, I was listening to your lecture yesterday, and I know all about it thanks to you, old teacher, old buddy, old pal, old friend. You uh, better not make me catch up on the homework when I get home, right? Yeah, thank you. Gaze into them. <laughs> I actually predicted what he was going to say. <laughs> oh, my God. I knew he was... <laughs> I'm sorry, this guy has the best face just ever. Like, yeah, when you're not looking, he's all upset that you're not getting his money. But as soon as you turn around, ah, let me help you out over here. Ah. So, beds. You are able to, because you are a knight, declare martial law and say that you are crashing in this house until further notice for nightly reasons that you are unable to disclose and sleep wherever you damn well please. Uh, we have this lady whose head looks like an onion or the Taj Mahal, your mileage may vary. <laughs> Make sure you don't break anything. Oh, it's on. We are a green hooded knight. Our natural enemy is pottery. Too bad, shouldn't have told us. No, how could you? You broke my antique. Just one of them? Okay. You break it, you buy it. Let's see, that was a very expensive antique. So 20 rupees should suffice. Um, thank goodness you never opened your eyes, so you didn't know that we actually broke all of your antiques and just thought we broke one. Whoa there, trainee. You'll never be promoted a full knighthood if you can't learn to keep your wits about you. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out fl flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care now. Hey. Oh, you're a girl! <laughs> I am so sorry! Uh, well, uh, this is awkward. Um... <laughs> Man, first Zelda goes missing, and now I'm striking out with the other ladies. Time passes, hair recedes, and guts sag. They really do. I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed, and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this villain. I feel bad for making jokes now. Oh my god, you're such a stand-up guy. And don't let any young snot-nosed knight like myself tell you otherwise. Um, I guess with Groose out of the picture, you're the leader of the bullies now. After all, it's the pecking order! <laughs> I've been waiting to say that one! There's a collectible right over there, and I have obsessive-compulsive disorder, and don't tell me that I'm being offensive and insensitive because I really do, okay? <laughs> I must have it! And I broke some pottery in the process, it's doubly good! I would be all over it so hard if I could shop at the flying shops like that kid with the really terrifying dental work always says I should. Oh my gosh, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee! Uh, wait, no! 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 That be about the lumpiest pumpkin I ever did saw. Any questions? Any other questions? Okay, there, we got that out of the way. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Nah. It is a little bit weird of a way to check for objects, or objects. Sorry, Zelda, I'm sorry. I swear I'm not this insensitive. I really do miss you. You are awesome, and I can't wait to be reunited with you because you and Link are so cute. It's a real head scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, doesn't it? I gotta be responsible, I'm sorry. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. I know how that is, buddy. Get too enthusiastic about talking about your passions, and you get too far ahead of yourself and realize, oh crap, I have nothing else left to talk about. Whoa! Not only can you save, you can also save and quit. Okay, no, really. Really? They're not that aggressive. Deku Babas really aren't that hard. What? Thanks, Fi. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am so glad that old woman bought that stool for her temple. This time... We're giving chase. Sorry, Gorko, you weren't important enough to include in that recap of what happened last time. You're talking, but I'm not listening. All I'm seeing are Deku Babas that I sincerely hope do not give me nearly as hard of a time as the ones that we fought before. Uh, gonna be cool? Gonna ingest a fruit while I'm rolling on the ground, have it land directly in my mouth, and ingest that right there to restore my stamina? Fortunately, I can't restore air to my lungs when I'm saying a run-on sentence like that. Also, I'm gonna scare the... It's just like a cat. Everything you think it's gonna scare the daylights out of them, they don't even bat an eye at. Like, fire alarm goes off, don't care, but move your toe. Oh my god, I was almost killed! 
A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Zelda? The fandom's reaction to Vi. I propose you continue dowsing for in your search for the, to search for Zelda. However, also this guy's about to have a very rotten day. So much for grass being super effective on rock. Mm, yeah. And anyway, we got this big old lump of mustachioed kiwi right here, ready to talk to us. I am Bucha the Kiwi Elder. Also, I'm sorry. This is the only time I'm saying this. He looks like a ball sack. He does. I can't. I'm sorry. I've always thought that. I can't think of it any differently. You can always press 2 to review your available actions. Uh, that's okay. I know exactly how to get his jelly legs down from there. I don't care. In our first encounter, he was lopsided. And I always say, once lopsided, always lopsided. Please do not use that as a pickup line, whatever you do. I have never worked so hard to make something defecate on me in my whole entire life. Wow. You automatically get rid of it upon restoring your uh, stamina. But until then, I guess you could say that you're pooped. <laughs> Grass, I guess I didn't do that, now did I? And heck, out of it, you guys got funny lines to use in your YouTube poops, I hope, maybe, possibly, if you want to make me look stupid. And there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. I am a knight in green. We are natural born lawnmowers, that we are. Readings indicate there are still kikwis to search for. No! There is a flaw in your programming. There is a Kikwi to search for, but that's okay. Generally, AI have trouble in uh, localization when it comes to plurals, though, so I forgive you. Don't worry. We lift this up and find that it's his disembodied backbone. We're too late. I am so immature. <laughs> now go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you. Kwee. Even strange Kiwi people from a foreign land ship us, yes. This I am looking so forward to showing you. Also, we need to do this. Oh. Heck, I would even say like, you know, Skyward Sword. More like Skyward Slingshot, am I right? To, to Skyloft. Why is that? Because Beetle's Air Shop is now available. <laughs> yes. It is only 50 rupees, and yeah, from catching bugs, we'll sure make a net profit. Oh! It's 800 rupees, though. So, no way in the surface, I guess that'd be the equivalent of hell to these people, am I gonna be able to buy that? Well, I don't know if you all know this about me, but I like using my slingshot a lot. It's a fantastic item, and we have no use for the last spot in our adventures pouch. No? Thanks, game. You can catch birds and kill them so that you can just take one feather off of them. You monster. Here we are, back at the bird statue overlooking this majestic tree that looks like it has a bit of an underbite with some googly eyes on it, actually. I didn't see it that way until now. And now I've ruined it for everyone. I'm not sorry. The goblins refer to it as- Oh! There's a guy right there! But the good material that I was hoping to get lucky with is right in front of my face. What do I do? Oh, uh oh. Um, no, he's he's noticed me. He's noticed me. Uh, thanks for scaring away the rare material, buddy. Really appreciate it. So you know what? You are all going to die very violently now. I don't care. You can't shout at me in any way to make me not mad at you, and bribing me with ammo for one of my favorite items won't help you either. Yes. Hi, little friend. Sorry, buddy. So that is a. What? And he's hopping towards me. Oh my gosh. Got it! Oh my god, I thought I messed it up and he flew away. Okay, no. Speaking of problems, yeah, I think you know what we need to do. And they just flew down after their home. Oh, uh, what's what's down there? Let's uh drop down. Well, I guess they're in hell where they belong. <laughs> Thankful to say I've never been stung by a bee or anything. It would be really, it would be really bad. Oh. Speaking of taking for granted how good stunning is. Yep. <laughs> you didn't think this simple children's toy was deadly. That was your greatest undoing, book goblin, sir. Oh, buddy, oh, pal, old friend. Not really. Eve aid. So there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Nah, don't need ya. Aw, oh, come on, I'm begging here. Help me out. Nope. 
Okay, I get the picture. I'll make sure this is worth your while. Oh, shoot! Be rude and you shall receive! <laughs> I didn't know he actually gave you that! I just got really lucky, wow! We do a Skyward Strike on it, it activates. And it decides to make like a timeline and split. Whoa, did you just- However, I have also detected the presence of numerous monsters. Are you sure you want to proceed? Uh, no. Do not feel embarrassed. Fear is a natural self-preservation instinct common among living creatures. <laughs> what a great pep talk. But I think with all of our dungeon preparations taken care of, making it further in and Link falling asleep before I can actually end this. Oh my God. Ah, for we obtained one of the eight main equipable items, the bug net in all of its top class physics. Um. Nobody saw that. Pull out our beloved slingshot. That nobody better mis besmirch or you'll have to answer to me even though there's not much I could really do to you. Starting things off. Who needs ya? We're better than that. We don't need any sort of weak keys around here, yeah. Uh, this is a blue oh. bokoblin or bokop. I can't make up my mind from episode to episode, guys. Bokoblin. They're some of the weakest enemies you'll ever encounter. How weak? They died to a children's toy. That's pretty darn weak. Uh, remember this. Shouldn't be too hard considering that X's automatically make everything interesting, seriously. What's more interesting than Mega Man? Mega Man X! What's more interesting than Xenoblade Chronicles? Xenoblade Chronicles X! Your mileage may vary on that last one though, but still. Point is, X makes everything cooler, so remember that. It's not just hole in the ground, it's hole in the ground X! Okay, I'm really stupid, I know. Please let me collect that green rupee. It'll bother me so much if I can't. Please, 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 please. Dip, touch it with your toes, Link. Touch it with your toes. Come on, come on, touch it with your toes. Come on, Link. I know you can pick up money with your feet. It's a very practical use for feet, but not very much so when you have boots on. I can't pick it up, can I? I won't have, I'll have a nine in my account, not a zero. It's going to bother me until I kill one more enemy. Oh, got it, yes, triumphant victory. I get way too excited over these things. Oh boy. Ooh, let's do our jump attack even though he'll see us coming. Let's do it. Whoop! Do that. Uh, let's uh, take two. Whoop! Boom. Stab. Oh. Excuse me. Let me stab you in peace. Thank you very much. Up on this broken tree trunk. You got the thing. The dungeon map. We got two eyes now with binocular vision. This foe will be able to actually aim at us and shoot us. Nah, not really. You just gotta stand equal distance between the two of them so they both look at you. You got a key. Yes. What could it be? 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 It could be Tull. Got ourselves a freaking awesome beetle. Sorry, okay, I know that's kind of overdoing it. Those to obtain the freaking awesome beetle! What I consider to be one of the best items in the Zelda series history. Speaking of which, hi! Hey, before you die, I want you to know that I saw your butt crack! The beetle shall ascend to the heavens and bestoweth upon us collectible goodness. Well, uh, buddy, maybe you can beat me up. I guess not. You just sucked that badly. Okay, cool. Ready now. It's a fountain of rupees that look very awkward as soon as they spawn in because there can't be a state transition during a cutscene. Yes. So that you can do this. I guess you call that a creative spin on a tired puzzle idea, but seriously. And this chest has a small key. I don't know how to return that into a song. I'll have to think of one. I promise not to let you down. And I also just realized that I totally sang the wrong jingle when I picked up that small key earlier in the last part. But well, that's all of them. I could have used it on the Quadra Babas down below, but I didn't forget. I just didn't remember right away. Either way, we still beat all. <laughs> uh, bye. I don't particularly dislike spiders, but I'm sure a lot of you arachnophobes will agree that it's also now in hell where it belongs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, speaking of not having to waste your slingshot pellets on things, I think you see where this is going. If you don't, well, you'll find out in three, two, one. 
We're just gonna try to jostle him off. Jostle, 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 jostle. Uh, oh, there's two of them. Well, you showed up late to the party. So to you, I say, come on, come on, come on, do it. Don't get too close, don't get too close. Uh, actually, I, oh. <laughs> wow, uh, I didn't. This, as you would guess, is a rather special door indeed. It is where the scent of Zelda's aura attracted us. I swear I'm not trying to be creepy though. People seem to like it when I'm unintentionally creepy and I don't know why, but uh, once poor word choice, always poor word choice. Any English teacher who had me will tell you that. That I think is really interesting and works well for what Skyward Sword is. I'll tell you though, it's definitely a hell of a lot better than what Phantom Hourglass did when it tried to make the boss key interesting. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Quee! Did you find the girl? Uh, I'm not that heartless. He came all this way, braving God knows what dangers for an unarmed Kiwi person. If if you want to be a jerk, be a jerk on your own time. There's your incentive to play the game for yourself. Beacons are... Well, okay, I've been saying a lot of things are your best friend lately. Let's, let's buck that habit. Um, It's your greatest platonic relationship is what beacons are, yes. This game has taught me anything. You don't need a parachute as long as you got your face. What perfect timing. You haven't seen my Kukiel, have you? Kuki who? I remember who she is. I just mean that in real life, I probably would say that because her name is so difficult for me to pronounce that I always have to strain to do it, but... Well, with a new objective under our belt, other than the red pillar of light, I'm gonna do what I always do whenever there is some big, pressing, important objective presented to us. I'm going shopping! Uh... You kind of purdy. How about I say the other thing to try to win you over a little bit more? Because I want to be, you know... I was going to say in your inner circle, though, but that sounds very wrong. Also, she's one of those pretty girls. The ones that no matter what you say, she will disagree with you and ridicule you and be like, I don't know, you're not a popular kid, so everything you say is wrong. I had more than my fair share of those growing up. Uh, oh, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee. Come back, come back, come back. Come, no, uh... Let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Come on, turn around, turn around. Uh, he's still there, he's still there. Uh, now, yes! And, um, all I can say after that is, please do not be rupees. Please do not be rupees. Please do not be rupees. <laughs> Adventure pouch! Awesome! Oak is alive, is that it? I understand. You're so old. You're actually dead. You'll stay clear in a cemetery in the middle of the night! Uh-huh. Uh, hey, Pum. And another thing, this might bug you a little bit, hee <laughs> but I only want to have to do these deals at night. Don't mean to, I don't mean to be a pest, but I'm counting on you. I can't stop thinking about bugs. It's too bad. I guess I'll be seeing you. Also, we got a buttload of rupees and completed another heart container. That's a good day or day and night if I've ever seen one. Oh. Uh, I was... Gonna make it daytime, but... Eh, she can crawl in right next to me. I won't mind. Here today. Ugh, I'm so worried. So worried. I'd tell you to calm down, but if you calm down any further, you'd be dead. <laughs> I guess you can only be so expressive when you have dots for eyes and a square head, but hey. As we came up here, it's just... I wish flying were more exciting and more quick, you know? Uh, oh, wait, 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 I, I flew in faster than the speed of draw distance if that grass poppin is to be believed. Uh, I kind of want to do that. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back. I definitely will hurry back now that I know the truth. Your brother and sister, you guys aren't an item. What? You found my sister. Her bird's injured and can't fly. He burned out all of his expressiveness in one syllable. That was all he had in him. There we go! Faster than the speed of draw distance! It's Link! And my second face plant that was more impressive than the first, she didn't notice either. Okay. I can say no to this. What happens if I do that? You didn't acknowledge my face plant either time. And that second one was pretty spectacular, just saying. You, you monster! She really is like the popular girls in school. What do I see in her, really? I guess cool pants is what I see in her, but hey. <laughs> Maybe that's all you need. Now my poor bird should be healthy again in no time. 
<laughs> no time is right. Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Nah. Like what you find, especially if you like fun and colors. Oh crap, I can't call my bird when I do that! I know what I'm doing for 20 rupees, you betcha! Ah, okay, I can improve this potion. You sure this is what you want? There is no- is the, are you sure this is what you want? You just do want this! There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it! Just give me the bug juice infused potion. An iron shield will not protect you from electricity. It'll come as a nasty shock. I like you, buddy. Even though you're just putting up a shameless facade, which I don't even know why you bother to keep it up around us because we've seen what you are like at Night Market. Do you have something for me to hold on to? Uh, not what you want to be holding on to for me, but here you go. I'm one of those cool hip kids on the block. I let Surface Dwellers technology do my slingshotting for me. But of course, I still can't grab onto this rope. And B, they would just jump off the edge, so what am I thinking? <laughs> oh, ouch! Face first into the stairs! <laughs> Even for a face plant aficionado like myself, that's pretty darn painful. All right. Oh. You wanted to know if I had a crush on you and then you came home to me sleeping in your bed. Well, uh... Awkward! Not my fault if anything comes of this. Every single collectible and every single thing that we can do in Skyloft right now, except for the- OH MY- the, the, it's, It was worth it! It was worth it! Wow! Yeah, 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 lecture me. Um, I can tell you're the girl this time. So, before you tell me that I don't ever learn... Hey. I learned your gender, I just didn't learn not to jump off of cliffs. Huh? Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm off to go upgrade my seat satchel. Right after you embezzle me out of my jelly blob so that I can actually afford to upgrade said seed satchel. Never smile again. And we also went and bought this awesome iron shield that I couldn't thrust at the camera because the shield button is the same as the camera centering button. Boiled again. In the event you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. Yes, Master, I highly recommend you not be on fire. Fantastic advice! Helper of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, oh! Amber Relic! That is... Okay. I showed this through text, though, uh, when we were back, we're at the... You're looking for a friend, not treasure? You're getting dangerously close to my crotch with that mouth, pal. Uh... I guess on that note, you gotta wonder what a bomb flower would actually smell like. I'm, I'm guessing like gunpowder or maybe like pepper or something of that nature. Oh, I am very lucky that cutscene activated when it did and not like a second earlier. Wow. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I didn't think it was still going to count down. There that goes. Off it goes. Happy trails. We'll meet again someday. The completionist in me swears on it. If we use dowsing, if we are so inclined to do that, we see that there's a piece of heart over there and it distracts me, but more importantly, if uh, rolling poop around can be adorable, these guys found a way to make it happen. <laughs> I like that. This way, across these very resilient bones, I wish I had bones that resilient in my body, because who wouldn't? Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Awkward map transition, but I must have the goddess cube. Oh, treasure, 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 money, 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 money. It just straight up isn't gonna let me. Uh, could I have done it though? Uh, wait, 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 wait! I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna. Ouch! Oh, <laughs> it fell off the cliff. I didn't know it was gonna let me dive again. I thought I used up my only opportunity for that. That went about as smoothly as me banging my head into that wall. <laughs> See, I let land dwellers technology do my healing for me. Because I'm one of those hip new cool kids who got myself one of them new fangled beetles, I am able to get hurt without consequence. I'm just that dang ahead with the times. I feel like that because you fight Bokoblins so often that if you're not well versed in like what you'd want to do fighting them, or you- WHOA! 
He hit me in the head so hard that I slammed my head into another wall flying across the room. <laughs> That's very slapsticky. That's like Wind Waker levels of cartoony violence right there. Oh. Man, I am sucking sucktacular amounts of suck here. Just With the digging mitts, we are now official members of Team Magma. <laughs> go, go. Go, 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 yes, yes, yes! Most exhilarating way to ever be fully healed! Now that we have dedicated our lives to Team Magma and have gotten the digging mitts, oh, good stuff! Also, unnecessary explanation, yay! Let's do that, and finish him. Well, that ended quickly. Three different pathways we can go down here, so let's go down slide number one. I don't recommend taking that slide if you value your brain cells. My own curiosity! Oh! Uh, speaking of curiosity, hi, you're probably the biggest catch I fished up out of the ground yet. Whoa, you scared me silly. You can't start to- What is it with everyone smelling my crotch here? Like, his nose is even twitching, like, as he got closer. <laughs> I don't really know what they're supposed to be. I get that they're like fire seals or like lava seals or something like that though, but they look like seals, yet they also look- <laughs> I didn't know that was there. Just, I don't feel good about acknowledging just green rupees and stuff like that. You know, for me to say out loud what I'm getting, it's gotta be special, like that goddess bloom. I have slightly higher standards than green rupees now. We're a chosen hero by the gods and all this stuff, or one singular god who is also female, so it's not a god, but a goddess, but point still stands. I am a pretty darn big deal in this world, if you haven't noticed by this point. I think I can say that having higher standards is somewhat expected of me. And that guy, he won't stop blowing his horn and calling for help. Let's, uh, shall we say, knock him over. <laughs> I was trying to make a clever pun, but I didn't have one, and there's like a zillion that I could have made. I'm ashamed. I'm catching bugs when I was told to hurry. Perhaps maybe this is why I never actually catch up to Zelda, but you... Oh. I hope if it makes that bug in the afterlife feel any better by squashing him, I also stepped in doo-doo. Spenceful game of Thrill Digger. Wanna try it? Uh, money? Explosions? Sounds like Hollywood, I'm in! Rolling here. You, Blue Rupee. You, Blue Rupee. You, I suck! <laughs> wow! Uh, I know what minigame I shouldn't play. There it is! <laughs> Link's face is fantastic. Just <laughs> Bye, buddy! Uh, wait, that didn't knock you over? Uh, oh, okay, well that did. Is he, is he rolling? He exploded from touching wood. It seems like anything is capable of killing those guys except for my sword. The oddly garb figure, garb figure taken deeper to the region must be Zelda! My calculations agree, Master. There is a night. oh. Third time's the charm. Pretty nicely, things are going smoothly. Had a bit of a, um, rocky start to this whole area as we were climbing up it, but I'll say that things turned around and things are starting to get a lot better. We got a switch. Which is the system that I'm calling, they're probably going to do an HD re-release of this on, but <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm- Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! Oh crap, no! I thought it was gonna fall a different way! So, to the skies! Or, sky, I guess it's not plural in this world, but it sounds cool. Master, the batteries in your Wii Remote are nearly depleted! What purpose could it ever serve on a game design level to have a visual cue for your battery being low, but then give us another visual cue and then a text box? Like, that's covering your bases three times over. I kinda don't think you need to be that on top of it, but either way, that happened, I think, 16 episodes later than I thought it was going to, so yeah. <laughs> There's no reason to not upgrade our shield other than I can never get monster claws! <sighs> that down there is the reality of what we have done. And no, I'm not calling myself God! Got some keys in- Of 
course I get a monster claw now! Couldn't have that when I needed it for my shield! <laughs> I kinda knew that that was going to happen, I was half expecting it, I just pray that I don't get a second monster... Claw. Well, I guess I'll be right back! Good thing we're right at the very entrance, guys! <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. And the very next one that I kill as soon as I get back also drops as a monster claw. Hoorah! But in this cage, this is pretty clever. Have that area that we crawled in through. We can just roll a bomb through there. And pull ourselves a strike. <laughs> Sometimes non-animation is the best animation. Gee, I wonder what we're going to get. We fought... Two Lizalfos in a lava dungeon in a room full of hexagon shaped platforms in the middle of lava. And it's the bomb bag, yep. Got a green rupee, another green rupee. I'm a broken man. I'm verbally acknowledging these worthless rupees that I said I would never acknowledge like two videos ago. You can see how the deterioration of my character is taking place as I'm getting increasingly terrible luck with these digging spots that I used to love oh so much and wish to rediscover my love for. It's a character arc, really. I bow before the might of the three-eyed demon putting on his own bib. We're gonna start not hot, hot log rolling, but hot... Ball rolling, uh, it sounded better in my head, I promise. Um, yeah, once again, not exactly winning any awards with my word choice. You, buddy, you look like you're very pen-kickable, very squishy. Heh, <laughs> you're scared of a beetle. Uh, <laughs> he, like, warned that guy, and he's just like, Okay, I'm going to act constipated so it will spare me thinking that I'm suffering enough. <laughs> Good things come to those who unnecessarily destroy pottery. Just keep digging, just keep digging, just keep digging, digging, digging. I'm just trying to find an item here that didn't remotely go with the tune of the song. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm very awkward. Okay. And not only that, but if you're doing one-to-one -one sword combat, the proportions of the CHARACTERS HAVE TO BE VERY CLOSE TO REAL LIFE FOR IT TO MAKE SENSE! Oh boy! Uh, well that was a train wreck <laughs> if I ever saw one out. No, get up! Get up there! Get up there right now, Mr. Link! You are not going to- Uh, bye. Not a good time! Not a good time! Not a good time! Darn. I knew I shouldn't have gotten that part-time job at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Wait. Serious? I just changed the batteries before we entered the temple! And grab it if you also didn't find it yourself. With those two things down, we are, how we say in the business, rolling in it give us creative ways of summoning beetle so instead we'll just be classy and summoning beetle with a beetle I can't believe I didn't say that last time I do indeed relish a good explosion it's much better than ketchup being a good explosion yes you sure fortified that wood with a screwdriver looks good as new hey kid looks like you're out of shields that need repairing see you later see you later <laughs> The floating island with one quarter missing beckons us. For I am Link who flies like the wind and falls flat on his face. Enjoy the gift, Beatrice, for you will be seeing that item in the item check for the rest of your days. I ain't ever using it. Incoming giant pumpkin, I must eat it! Sorry, bird. I didn't think of the consequences before I went through with my actions because I'm a bit of a dopey main hero, if my laziness and my facial expressions are any indication. Oh, but you can only work on the patch during the day. There's no telling what would happen under the night sky. I know it might be dark, and I might drop a pumpkin on my toe, because it's so hard to see at nighttime. You can't do that, no. That's why no one ever goes flying at night, because it's impossible to see if you go out at nighttime, even though it would look so pretty if you could go flying at night, because the night sky is so gorgeous, and the moon is so pretty, and I wish you could go flying at nighttime, because this game has an amazing lighting engine, and the pillars of light would look incredible. Also, Pum and Kina. It almost spells pumpkin. And then you remember that Kina is Pum's kin! <laughs> And she's just ignoring me as per usual. I think he's kind of deserving of a name. I kind of want help thinking up one if 
you would be so inclined to help me, but I guess it'll wait for another day because we're already ditching him for the surface. Sorry, boy. See you in another eight episodes. To be good at basketball was have this aiming reticle and arc to show me exactly where it was going to go before I threw it. Was that really so much to ask people behind designing the game of basketball? I don't think so. <laughs> Stunning insects have compound eyes, which means that they hit with sleep powder 98% of the time. Almost. That moment when being born just four inches to the left of your brothers and sisters can be the difference between life and death. I didn't think these things really had any purpose! Oh, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission! Uh, get that, get that, get that! They would have sucked all the electricity out of me, verm. Uh, he doesn't have to know that we were a couple thousand years too late to stop that when speaking in the present time. The freaking awesome beetle just got twice as freaking awesome. We have the hook beetle. Um, murder. Yes, you can murder with the hook beetle because that is such a bright topic. An area, it's a legendary treasure few will ever behold. Well, people might have searched lives to have seen this thing, but I've already seen it twice. Yeah, I'm just that lucky. Ooh, ants, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Don't gimme, gimme, gimme that text box. Of course you guys can walk over that quicksand and still move around fine, but I can't. Yeah, that's fair. All because you guys are tiny and don't weigh much. It's discrimination, you know. It bugs me when I can't do that. It bugs me. Thank you for dying, good sir. That is the best news I have had all day. The news of your untimely demise. Yay. I am standing on the helix that you did not deserve to represent. Thank you. Should we push this minecart down, it'll make it so that even if we do, for whatever reason, feel like we need to walk back through here again, we don't have to! Ampelus, hear me loud! I am above dealing with you. Literally. So no, I have no reason to ever see you again. The worst is over. Goodbye. Go screw yourself in a ditch. And not the ditch that you live in. I'm sure that would be common everyday life for you. Thank you! Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have some therapy with a tub of ice cream. <laughs> now, before you go, ha, this isn't the temple of time. They just gave this lame field a dirt a cool sounding name to play in a nostalgia. I see through your tricks. Also, we haven't fought Octorox in a while. It's kind of nice to fight such an easy enemy after everything that we've dealt with. Uh, not naming any names, I'm just saying that we may or may not have fought some enemies that I was not a very big fan of and that I considered to be individuals whose parents were never married, which was a very G-rated way of saying what I think of them. Thank you. This sacred place is known as the Temple of Time. Ah, so you got the pop-up message in the corner of your vision too, huh? All that big and that there wasn't really a whole lot of new stuff that you could do on repeat. When a cutscene costs you a kill. Thank you. Good luck. Vert hey, I told you, no verting in public. <laughs> Get out, get out. Oh, 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 I barely managed to do that. Oh, he's not dead. No, no. Uh, 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 okay, uh, whatever. I slashed a dragonfly in two before killing you. I just thought they had futuristic outfits because Vi is like they have the latest in uh, Bokoblin technology. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, you kids, get off my lawn. That is a phase only a mother can love, and the goggles make it even better. Oh my god! <laughs> Man, the cla- Please die, good sir. I'm hitting you with the very tip of my sword. You'd think that I'm Marth. And eventually you should find another one. Oh, there was not- That wasn't there before. I see. The tumbleweed gods led me over this way to give me a material that I would have skipped because the materials respawn or uh, get reshuffled every time you leave the area and come back. I see, the tumbleweeds were guiding me in this crazy mixed up life. And now I already have the net equipped. So now, aha! I mean, aha, no, 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 no! How does it feel to be not smarter than a tumbleweed? Not very good, I'll tell you that much. I'm feeling extra generous today, so I'll let two more spumes live. They're not Ampulus. Speak of the devil, it's right there. They always feel the need to pop up right on cue when I'm relieved about not having to fight them. Just because they need to crush my hopes and dreams, much like the tumbleweeds do. I guess the Ampulus and the tumbleweeds are in cahoots when I put it like that. Hmm. 
Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> I think I can, 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 I think I can! I know I can, I know I can, I know I can, I know I can! Yes! Got up there. Who would have thought quoting a children's story would ever be so exciting to me? Uh, 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 no, no. I, I don't want, I do not want the, open the chest! Sorry for the flatulence behind you, Link. <laughs> uh, get away, get away, get away, get away! <laughs> we get it over there, and we'll just drop it down there, and uh, we'll meet it momentarily. Also, sorry, Beetle, I didn't mean to give you a chip tooth right off the bat. I personally got a chip tooth as a child, and it's always bothered me that my teeth are not symmetrical, and they pretty much never have been ever since they first grew in in the first place. There's my traumatic childhood memory for today. I've been bringing those up a lot lately. Miyamoto! Been a while since I've said that though, but it's deserving of it. Like, there is this Ampelus egg that I previously called useless, but oh, have I got a grand plan for you now. You should feel honored. No, 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 you should not zap me, for I am the deity that shall determine your fate. I could drop you into an endless black abyss of nothing, only to be deloaded from the game's RAM, if I so desire. So you best cooperate with me before I make that your fate, because I can totally do that. I'm just kind of on a power trip though, because I have power over Ampelis's now, and I have been able to remove the power that they have over me. I'm going on a power trip. I saw the Amber Relic up here before we went into that building, and now that I've come back out of the building, it's been gone. It's my head cannon that this Ampelis ate it, so you know what? To fulfill my own dark designs, I am going to violently slaughter you. And I'll take another disappointing blue rupee, sure, but... Upgraded to the Quick Beetle! I kind of preferred, like, Speed Beetle, because it sounds like the name of a superhero. Um, I was kind of looking forward to being all like, Speed Beetle! Away! Whenever it went there. Watch where you're flying it, Speedy. Can't think of a better way to test out a new, faster, stronger, harder beetle than on Beetle himself. How about it? I shall buy it. I'm sure some will disagree with this decision, but I'd rather have it than not have it. Here it comes. Let's see where he's dropping us on our face this time. I thought I wouldn't be as heavy if I only had 50 rupees in my pocket. I mean, that's got to lighten my weight by at least a couple dozen pounds, let's be honest. And where do I land? Oh, what? What? <laughs> I landed on the bench with my butt in the air! <laughs> Oh my god! I didn't think it was possible to beat the stairs, but wow! That is the best! Would never even know that it was there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, let me land this, let me land this, let me land this! I chickened out and I used a sailcloth like some non face planting hero pansy. Yeah! Never mind starting the video off smoothly. Uh, ginormous bug net, that is all you need to know. Tumbleweed, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Don't, or they spawn in right next to a wallet. Hey, another enemy that drops jelly blobs that I don't need. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, because it is. You got a small key. And don't worry about the beetle taking so many explosions and collisions to the face. It's a tough beetle, it'll be fine. It might have actually been a problem for the regular old beetle, but nah, it's gotten tough in its name. Maybe not metal though, I guess there is leather on our shields is what that would be made of if there's no metal on it. Um, I'm thinking way too deep into this. Let's just say Nintendo logic and call it a day because that's all it is. It's Nintendo logic brought to you by Nintendo in not really, in, well actually if it is, never mind. Uh, go, 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 go. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, got my stamina fruit. I guess you could say we're back on track. Chest. It's a legendary treasure few will ever behold. That's what you said last time and the time before that. Every one of these hunks of dirt taken out because I highly doubt you want to see me get a part-time job as this place's janitor. <laughs> oh my God, it actually kills them. That's amazing. I'm not a big fan of this item. It's not my favorite, but it's also not my least favorite. We'll get to that very soon, but quite a bit of progress made. I think we're gonna end things off here. 
Gets me every time. Gets me every time. Last time, we entered the Lanayru Mining Facility and obtained an item which I can stare at the butt of all day. The Gust Bellows. Seriously, it's just so mesmerizing, the hole on its bottom. Mm. Speaking of which, hi, Pottery. Uh, got in my way of my pottery just for that. I'm killing your brother that I two seconds ago didn't care about. Yeah, I showed you. I don't totally hate the Gust Bellows. It... I can at least say that it has a very gorgeous looking butthole, which is something that I can't say about very many things in this world, but when making these videos, I am sitting behind my, I'm sitting behind a desk with my controller under set. <laughs> I hate that so much. Just ugh, those enemies. I play this sitting down under normal circumstances. Uh, die, please. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir, for dying. Have a nice day in whatever robots have instead of afterlife. On that, you just gotta stab them right there, stab them in the back of their throat, and chop off their tongue, and they're done. Doesn't matter which order you do it in, either of which is fatal to just about anyone, including robots. We kinda don't really ever see the fairies, at least not the normal ones get much of a personality. At least the regular ones. Uh, sorry, Navi, I forgot about your existence for a few seconds. I know a lot of you would like to be blessed with that, uh, with that uh, bit of amnesia. I bring you, I resurrect you in three, two, one. <laughs> Please let the red rupee fall near me. Yes, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> that almost went off the cliff and I would have hated it so much. Just, why do they have those guys floating over giant chasms of nothing? Like, you make an enemy that drops 50 rupees when defeated, but you always place them in spots that don't let you collect them and they all just fall into the abyss taunting you as they fall. Being like, haha, you'll never get me to the Skyloft Bazaar. You will never spend me. You will never use me as the fee for the incredibly degrading purpose of juicing down a bug for you to drink. We have yet another metal crate at the top of a ladder. Thanks for that minimum wage employee who didn't give a crap about anything on the last day this factory was in business. Appreciate you. I really do, even if no one else does. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to suck horribly at basketball because it's my favoriteest game in the whole wide world and nothing stupid ever happens to me when I play it even when I have the aiming reticle that I say the game so desperately needs so that I can enjoy it. Or no one knows where their strange shape comes from. This is something that I contemplate out loud every day of my life because, you know, the shape of this 16th Amber Relic is so much more fascinating than the other 15 that came before it. Not to mention all the ones that we've used in material, so we've actually had more than that, even though we're still explaining what they do. When do rupees bounce that intensely in any other situ- Wait, shut. Death by basketball. I have to wonder if that's ever happened because uh, if it is possible for that to happen, then um, I should probably fear for my life. Sure. Barrels that have nothing in them. You have let me down. You're, you are a disgrace to your barrel kind for generations to come. You are the, dude, the ancestors to the barrels that gave us amazing stuff. The ones that lived a thousand years prior. They're the disappointing ones. Let me do things that are very innuendo y that I don't want to repeat and force it. Come on, get over here. It's a uh, letter W and also a really awkward looking airplane. And we'll open the door that depicts a robot grabbing its nipples. And wow, a uh, creature with pincers and a long poisonous tail in the desert. My immediate thought is lobster. Awesome. However, on a brighter note, this room is very pretty. Link, here. You'll need this where you're going. You killed the mood! Why is there an item jingle here? Link. Am I late? No. Would it have killed you to leave the portal open for two extra seconds? Oh wait, no, it wouldn't have killed you. It would have killed Zelda. I'm just saying. Hey there, Link. I haven't seen Zelda around lately. Do you know what happened to her? Once again, you burned out all the enthusiasm juices in your massive pecs in only a few seconds flat. 
Hey guys, do you remember the wing ceremony? Because I remember the day that we flew in the wing ceremony. It was a great wing ceremony and it was a lot of fun. Groose tried to cheat at the wing ceremony, but things didn't quite work out for him. So we ended up getting second place in the wing ceremony, whereas we won the wing ceremony and took our place with Zelda at the end of the wing ceremony. Yes, at the tower where the wing ceremony took place, there is a gratitude crystal out of view. Wing ceremony. Time to learn the secrets of defense. Well, that works out because I love defense to the Knight Academy. The doors are locked on the ground level, but they're open on the top level. I guess they figured that the rotten, lazy kids of today won't go outside if they if it causes them to have to climb a flight of stairs, so there's no reason to lock the door at nighttime. You have a blue bird feather on your wall. Gross. I had no idea you were such a... Wow! That could make at least 20 tough beetles right there by itself. I had no idea you were such a treasure aficionado, Gross. I had you pegged all wrong show you the new me. Champions don't whine, they win! Stick your back into it, maggot! Yes, all night long! I am already accomplished, so you know what? While you were up all night training, I'm gonna sleep in your bed, and you're gonna watch me while you do those push-ups! Well, you're doing it a second night in a row because I don't know which button to press and when! I beg you, stop! That chest is not to be opened under any circumstance! There is something unspeakable inside. I want to open it. I said no! Push any thought of this chest out of your mind forever. You must never think of it again! Yeah, no. It's time to play your brain cell's least favorite game! PLANT THAT! FACE! It's a visit to Skyloft. We have to do this at least once, even though I have nothing to pick up at Beatles. I just realized that he ripped his pants, exposing his entire butt, and then patched up the whole thing. <laughs> Where do we land? <laughs> Ouch! Well, you see, a flamboyant demon lord captured Zelda with a tornado, and while chasing after her, one thing led to another, and now I'm best friends with a giant talking butt and a bunch of mole people. True story, the end. Say, hey, you want to hear about some of my research? Nah. Oh? That is too bad. Well, if you ever get in a researchy kind of mood, you know where to find me. Uh, I, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. I was just trying to extort you for another rare collectible. You know how it is. Times are tough. You got to do these sorts of things. And wait. What kind of uses that to anyone? He doesn't have to know that he has a genuine knack for attracting very rare collectibles that I'm gonna go behind his back and reap the rewards in. But the bug net? That's lame. Or no, actually, you see what it is? It's making it intangible and acting like a ghost. None of the other items do that. Yeah, it's making itself intangible. That's totally what they intended. If they ever outdo themselves with what those do to Gossip Stones. Houston, we are clear for left off. Oh, don't worry. He'll be fine. Look, yes, he has risen from the ashes or dust once again. Find out more about the song that Zelda was singing on the day of the, ahem, wing ceremony. But I can think of no better person to ask about the song Zelda was singing than the man who created her. Let's see, oh come on, it's your daughter's job to serenade me, right? You can fill in, you share half of her genetics, or this is going downhill very quickly with the potential future father-in-law, but I'm gonna make him sing it anyway. Oh, youth guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. Oh, youth show the two whirling sails, the way to the light tower, and before you <laughs> a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. Totally the intended lyrics to go along with that tune. Uh, oh, Elvis, we haven't seen you in a while says everyone on this earth, but I've never even heard of, much less seen any such thing. Take mine! What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing! <laughs> Hold it. Why would you say you have one when you really don't? That's a dirty trick, kid. Thanks for killing my enthusiasm by giving me the dialogue option when I don't have one.
was just inside the cavern. I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of this stem. Uh, careful with the context that you say that in. Fine, I think he's always right on the money. He sees right through you and your clothes. Once again, I still haven't forgotten about digging spot X. It'll all make sense a lot later. It's all part of my grandmaster plan. Plan X. The most extreme plan I can think of. The pauses are for emphasis. Okay, no, that's kind of stupid. But don't take too long. Vert. Man, moving like that, you think he'd get vertigo? <laughs> I'll have to know where things gotta go, but not here. No, it's a nice little detail. Something they really didn't have to. I'm sure he agrees with me that they really didn't have to do after the treatment that he just received. <laughs> also, Elvis does what he does best and disappeared right before our very eyes. Ooh, that was almost very painful. Courage, it's rousing melody will guide you. Awkward segue! Another item jingle I kinda wish wasn't there. Serves most of it, at least as far as I'm concerned. And why are you telling me to douse in here? Yeah, gee, I wasn't sure if I needed to leave through this hole in the wall that I crawled in through. Thanks for that. Hmm, that's a pretty nice piece of paper you got there. It'd be a shame if somebody wiped their ass with it. You could say it's sort of like a all right, fine, it's a love letter. And that's why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? Not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. Oh, Pippet, how can I get you to notice me? Aw, uh, her heart goes, Pippet, 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 Pippet. <laughs> uh, what do you think she intends to do? Tatum. Obligatory toilet sit. It would not be a playthrough of Skyward Sword without it. We gotta rest in yet another bed to see how this pans out. I guess that's why they call it the bed pan. We took care of something that was happening around Skyloft, and I guess you could say love was in the air. <laughs> uh, get it together, uh, be professional. Uh, do you have anything you want me to hold on to? I feel like I've made this joke twice already, so uh, yes, I do have something that I want you to hold on to, but I'm gonna be taking something out in return. Instead of naming it Steve, something almost as stupid, Airpona, away! We can make our bird commit cannibalism in the name of getting one rupee. Or, oh yeah, there's nowhere else I'd rather be at night. Interesting subtext about your marriage. La, 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 la. Freestyle, bitch! It's a sad clown. I must paint this. He has such anguish on his face as if to say, oh, why don't you just stab me through the heart? And to that I say, okay. <laughs> this would be your way of going back through the mines if you ever wanted to go back through that area from here. So it is nice for that purpose. Uh, you the uh, treasure, ch treasure chest, treasure chest, treasure chest, treasure chest. You can go return it as soon as possible when you're the hero of your own adventure! I thought the ledge was safe to jump down right there. Then I get to reach in and take a handful of your rupees. Isn't that fun? Just so long as you don't grab anything else while you're in there. His eyes, how he has like normal eyes. He just has markings on his face that look like he has demon eyes. It's pretty funny. I guess if that's the case, I can see how he got demonized. I'll, I'll see myself out. <laughs> Will I survive this encounter with the man with the bull cut? Uh, well, that was almost catastrophic. <laughs> the Dusk Relic. These can only be found within the Silent Realm. But you are mine. Mine. Na 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 na. You can't catch me. <laughs> Fully. Don't really have to worry about much of anything. Uh, there were two blue birds up there. No! And I'm a be a dirty boy. Ooh, almost right in the crotch. Oh, that time it actually was right. <laughs> he had every right to scream that loudly. Oof. On the note of him being, well, very quirky. <laughs> and you also spin by shaking the nunchuck? One step ahead of you, buddy. I've been spinning by shaking the nunchuck, and I'm doing a majestic dolphin swim that almost got me hurt. In scale, does that make you the emissary of the goddess like the water dragon said? Either that, or it means I killed her. 
You possess one of her scales, so you must be a friend of her kind. Or I killed her and took the scale. You guys are way too trusting. No wonder you got attacked. I know my dungeon keys when I see them. It was no easy task. How did you find me? By swimming in a straight line. Honestly, I can't remember how many times I told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. This is dedicated in loving memory to that one poor sad bokoblin that Girahim so ditzily summoned in his onslaught of the water dragon. No one told him that he would instantly die in the water he was born in. No one deserves such a fate, not even our enemies. What? I had to make sure he had nothing good on him and man, what a cheapskate. See if I ever dedicate a video to your kind ever again. Go! Give me, yes! Or I missed an amber relic, but that is absolutely fine because I have like 50 of those at this point. I'm starting to get a little bit lazy with picking them up, but that's okay because we have digging spot X! I'm cutting my losses and heading home. See ya. Who you calling nothing, buddy? I'll accept this love as your apology. Quickly, boy, pour it onto my basin. The, the. <laughs> <laughs> that animation is not meant to be funny, but it gets me every time. <laughs> we got the whip, an item that the marketing said was new to this game, even though it's not, because I actually played Spirit Tracks. How many people can you find that have done that? I wish it was more. I, well, okay, I don't really think I described Tarzan as an action flick, though, but you know what I mean. I know that physics are usually pretty much ignored in flicks like that, but still. Get it? Flicks like that. The whip is supposed to stay out. Come on. Flicks like that. There we go. Also, hi, buddy, that I can kill with one sword slash and then doing a finisher. Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. And I will not be seeing you for a while again because you are dead. And it's just like those times in school when you're cold, so you put your knees inside of your jacket and feel all warm and toasty inside, but also look like you have boobs in the process so the other kids make fun of you. But you don't care because it's nice and cozy and comfy. And what I tell you, sure is an enlightening experience. <laughs> Man, with a neck like that, he really is the Dalai Lama. Now that you get how everything works, this fight is basically Breath of the Wild before Breath of the Wild was Breath of the Wild, and I am very okay with that. Our sword is longer. You know what that means, right? Yep. We got some more bamboo to go cut! Okay, no, I actually don't want to do that. If you see a rupee of any value and you sprinkle the spores near it, it will change the value of it. But you don't want to get too gre- it didn't even give me the time to be greedy with it. It just disappeared. Ugh. Making our blade longer, harder, and a lot of other things that are probably at home in a Daft Punk song. Yes. Boy, Beetle, with this whole shtick you got going on, I guess that makes you a peddler of goods. Hey, why you got that haircut? You thinking of joining the Beatles? Oh, and uh, about the thing the other night, we agreed to keep that secret, right? That's all I have to say about that. You can't do anything to me right now though. I'm smarter than you. And by smarter than you, I mean I know to not approach you 90 seconds later than the present time. So I do kind of want to let you know that going forward, we are going to be taking a bit of a detour from seeking out where we got to go. Also, one of the very few dusk relics that you will find outside of the silent realm. At night. See, those words are highlighted. You got to pick up on that stuff. coming and I freaked out so I heard up and hit the A button. <laughs> oh my god, I'm at a loss for her name right now. Karain, Karain's room, Karain. <laughs> Took a second for me to come there. Oh. So many different bird referencing names. <laughs> and before I start to get stronger, what do you think, Link? How many push-ups do you think I needed to get stronger? About a thousand! It's not about numbers. I've done a little bit of thinking, and you know what? I am heartless enough to sleep in your bed. Yeah, we're gonna be sleeping till morning, and you're gonna be doing push-ups until the crow's caught at the morning crack of dawn. The truth is, there's something I'm just dying to get off my chest, Link. 
Is it your shirt? <laughs> oh, I am so horrible lately. <laughs> red rupee, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee, ruby rupee, gotcha. It is finally time. No, it isn't. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! With everything done that we have done, that's kind of redundant. Ha, <laughs> redundant. Uh, I'll shut up. <laughs> All right, welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This time we are getting a lecture about how stupid we are from one of the esteemed senior knights. Now, I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? Yes, I know a lot of people mistakenly call me Lunk. Such a difficult name. And All I gotta say is... Separated at birth? Well, I guess we know who the older twin is. You take a bad boy out into the middle of the desert, make him dig a bunch of holes, and it turns him into a good boy. That is our philosophy here at Camp Green Lake. And then you remember, this was the heart-stopping course. <laughs> oh. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward No, 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 I got it at the cost of my life, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. It's okay, it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good. I hereby decree this ship as the natural preserve for mythical creatures. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing bad could ever happen in this place, right? Don't really see much of a point. You don't need to fight all these guys. I'm just kind of doing it to see what drops I can get out of them. Um, if you're... And blow away these little buggers. I've heard that that's a swear word in some English-speaking territories, though, so I'm very sorry if I just got you in trouble with your mommy, but in my country, it's not a swear. I promise. Please don't get in trouble because I swear I didn't know I'm just a filthy American. Master. That synthetic life form, there is a 99% chance that it was the pirate described by the captain. The remaining 1% is that it was Zelda. And where else did we get the bow? Then on the bow! <laughs> I Marooned in a time long disconnected from his own, we rejoin our warrior aboard Sand Ship. Uh, this guy over here, and hey, uh, the barrels! It's okay, barrels, I forgive you. I now understand. You were not betraying us. You had tons and tons of arrows that you just couldn't cough up because you didn't want to spoil the surprise of what we were going to be getting aboard the ship here today, okay? You barrels, you worked hard, even putting your own image at risk to make sure that this dungeon would be much more fun than it would have been otherwise. And for that, I appreciate you. Or you guys can just go back to sleep, that's cool. Or two of you can go back to sleep and the other... Okay, fine, if you want to die that badly, be my guest, but I was gonna leave you alone if you went back to sleep, I'm just saying. It's not too late for you to make better life choices yet, little one. Is he going to, or is he? Nope, he's not. He gave in to peer pressure and it was his undoing. Mechanism has caused something to, within the, deep within the, something within the ship to begin moving. The current situation is difficult to work accurately. I don't know why she turned into Big the Cat. <laughs> and I'm not going up there, I'm gonna use my whip. There's a reason why the god has granted me with this thing, so I wouldn't ever have to use my arms ever again. You know what? Let's try our luck with the rupee, actually. I got three of these things. We have... Well, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, shiny chest. It's no longer just sacred flame. It's sacred flame X. Well, I thought this would be more fun. I'm missing exactly six hearts. If you sprinkle the glittering spores on a... Come on! It would have turned into a fairy! And that was the last of our... <sighs> I was gonna be so cool, and I was going to use up the last of my spores on a heart, and I was gonna get a fairy, and I was gonna put it in the new empty bottle that I had in its place, and it was gonna be super awesome, and... I think I just need to learn to accept that I'm not that awesome. <laughs> You can indeed destroy these barrels. It looks pretty cool, but I think you're better off just running past them because, hey, the ship is sinking and sometimes there's more important things than looking cool. Hmm. Collectible or story progress? Collectible or story progress? Eh, it took me like six episodes to get down to the service for the first time. You already knew the answer. It's a new heart container. 
after playing this for the last four and a half hours, I now must return to a simpler time without my upgraded stamina wheel. And without it, I would say that I have nothing more to live for! Ahem, <clears throat> anyway, if we go to the brig, I think you'll appreciate this. It's full of techno blitz. <laughs> They're just all standing in there, just kind of staring at each other being like, how did we get into this predicament? They're just all in jail. But what no one told them is that they're actually on death row! Uh, wait. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man, karma came through. <laughs> well, um... Hey, little buddy, you can break up this jail fight by yourself, right? <laughs> if you're up for it, why don't you come by and visit again some night? I will be glad to sleep in your bed. You might be a scrawny little twig, but dang it, you know how to make a bed and you know how to make it well. I will be happy to sleep in it for you while you do your all-night push-ups. I'll call it being your supervisor. Yeah, that's it. And with all those arrows that are just plinking against the door, I feel bad for whoever's gonna come through those doors just being like, Hey, what's all that racket? Doink! Ah, oh, my eye! <laughs> the easy way to do this is to shoot Pippa through the heart and just take the item from him once he's dead. No. It got it, got it! Bonus points for style! Nope. I have no style, I have no grace, I just have a funny face. It sounds nothing like what we heard up at the Isle of Songs whatsoever, just... Ah. Anyway. I won't harp on it! Let's just go into the Silent Realm! Do you have any questions? Fi, you're talking, but all I am seeing is... Dusk Relic, Dusk Relic, Dusk Relic, Dusk Relic, Dusk Relic. I must have it, and I see it right behind that pillar over there. I've wanted it for so long. Just rush up here. Look constipated while I do it. Come on, do the constipation waddle that Luigi made famous when he did his sidling through really uh, narrow passageways. Toast! I think the plan is toast! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, get over there, Link! Get over there! Catch your breath this instant, mister! No! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Come on, come on, go, go, go! Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! And that's that. Link just got 10% sexier in the eyes of, well, anyone who has ever had a crush on him with red earrings on. I recommend searching for flames. Gee, search for flames. What a helpful tip you have there, Fi. I guess secrete an oil from their bodies to make themselves burst into flame closer and closer and you're shaking the controller You're shaking it harder. You're shaking nice work getting past that hot spot back there, but I know the Wi-Fi was terrible Flames this is starting to burn me up. Oh Get on top and then drop down the water from above It was then that the hero of legend became a living waterfall Now we are getting somewhere I'll do anything for you, buddy. I understand your struggle. You're the one of your kind that makes puns, so the rest of your kind disowned you, and that's why you don't live in Goron City. I understand your plight and the oh so deep and the deep character that is Gorko the Goron. And then it hits you. That waterfall that the water dragon took away in front of the ancient cistern is now up for grabs. Hey guys. We're going to explore a new island today. This one over here. <laughs> red rupee, red rupee, red rupee, red rupee. Yes, gotcha. I will call for the robot. <laughs> She's so great. This is what I mean by Fi's character just being so awesome if you pick the right choices. Just, I mean, she is a little feisty, if you will, but I love her. I love her so much. If only she didn't have to deliver all those tutorials. As usual, Vert, I shall await you in the skies above. He's moving vertically as he does this. And I don't think I've used a bomb on a moblin yet. You're about to become a bomblin! Ha! That went a lot less good than I thought it would. Uh, just convinced that he wants me out of the picture. He's all like, hmm, this is an awfully good excuse to make him fight lots and lots of enemies. Once he's out of the picture, I can have Mr. Spy all to myself. Me, <laughs> I want to shoot you so bad right this moment. 
Enjoy your last few precious seconds before I get over there, because you are so lucky that I gotta have every single collectible that you could possibly drop, because I don't want to kill you, because I know the one that I shoot from far away, you're gonna have a golden skull, and by the time I get up here, the golden skull is gonna disappear, even though the rupees and hearts haven't, because this game is dumb sometimes. Whew! I think our sword will make even quicker work of this. How'd you get those boxes to stick to your back? Talk! 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 Okay. Can I got it. Press Z to Z above ground. Yes. So I have one question for you. Do you remember digging spot? Oh! I certainly hope you don't because I never said anything of the sort. For you see, there is um, somebody there waiting to shoot you. Uh... Thanks for the push, buddy. I actually made it through to the other side thanks to you. For that, I shall not smite you as the sniper that I am. Ah, it's so cute. He thinks he could actually shoot me from this distance. It's no lava, but I think he'll talk anyway. Talk, talk, talk. Talk about what? I don't actually know. Um, I can't back it. Kick him, Link, kick him, kick him. <laughs> I think I'd like to grab you, kind of, maybe, possibly. I'll take you. <laughs> Why would I ever not pick up that? Waste of pottery. What's the point of even crafting pottery if you're not gonna put money inside for me to find when I smash your artistic creation? <laughs> We're playing as Groose, baby! My dream come true! Work. If only there was someone who was really good at plowing the field. Um... Sorry, girl, you're about a week too late. I already paid off my life's debt to your kin. Yeah, I know someone. Now our sword once more. Our objective lies up. Not there. Anywhere but there. No, it lies underground. Now that things are less tense, it must be said. That is a face that has seen some serious sh- Everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Hey, robot. Our destination is indoors. I'd like to see you skydive down there, buddy. And don't you give me no sass about it. Half off. Oh man, if I pay you any money, it's gonna make my rupee count no longer the width of a 720p video. And that's very appealing to me as a video producer. But sure, fine. We'll see what you have to say to us. <laughs> it's over. It's all over. Whoa, buddy. Um. I know you're sleeping in Groose's bed, but I didn't think you swung that way. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but, um, oh. Second of all, you already taught our bird the spiral charge. What were you intending to do to, if we failed that test? Were you just gonna go all Metroid Other M on us and be like, oh, you're not authorized to use this technique even though you're inside the Thunderhead and I can't see you using it because I have Professor Oak senses to know when a snot-nosed kid is riding his bike indoors. That's my theory, yeah. Yeah, I feel horrible. So it's your fault that the gods are smiting us because you hadn't made your offering of pumpkin soup. No. You know what that means. You're gonna have to sacrifice your youngest daughter now. <laughs> His face. It's a pumpkin soup I have ever created. Could I maybe dip my finger in it? I like pumpkin soup. Uh, you're not even gonna ask our permission anymore. You're getting too sassy for your own good. So that's what the ancient writing meant by a crimson vessel. This looks really funny, I'm sorry. It's like arranged around me like on a Valentine's card or something like that. I think we only got one option. But you know what? I am all for it because it involves us seeing Groose again so soon. He was absent from this plot for way too long before we saw him again last time. I don't see Groose anywhere around here. Maybe he went into the portal to go cry to Zelda and just be like, I'm telling you what's up, but you're not answering. Okay, no, I, even I don't think he's quite that insensitive. All right, get ready, the imprisoned. The Grusinator is Lucinator! Down, down again! Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time, yes! <laughs> Come to think of it, I'd forgotten to ask your name. I see, Link is it? Now there's an odd name, Q. Excuse me, the god of the sky told me my parents have excellent taste in names. Your opinion is invalid. What brings you to see me? This water! Died, yeah, that's another thing. Water dragon, think of the bugs. Think of all the bugs that you killed that I could have 
squish down and use their guts for potions. Okay, maybe drowning is actually a better fate than what I would have used them for, but still. You killed the mood. All this excitement has been rather draining. I believe I'll retire to my hall. You'd best be on your way as well. Get it? This ordeal was rather draining. <laughs> Clinging on to whatever I can throughout this horrible ordeal. I'm willing to bet this was all your fault, you blabbermouth. Been trying to hide so long, my shoulders are stiff. Oh, it's too cute! I can't say funny stuff. Mm. Keep peep. If there isn't somewhere peaceful, I can live without fear, without having to hide. There is! It's a magical kingdom up in the clouds, above the sky, and all this other stuff that, well, you're not indigenous to it, and I don't know how much sun you'd really get up there, though, but okay, well, I guess you'd get a lot of sun, you just wouldn't really get the heat that you need. <laughs> Zitting! If you should have any need of me again, just call. Zerp. You're making all kinds of new sounds, and... Man, life is just crapping all over this guy today. I mean, at least it's good fertilizer for him if he is a plant. This- Oh! You really did find my precious horn colossus beetle! I don't like that motion you were doing with your hand when you said the beetle was here, but uh, I'll leave you to it. I see this right over here. I want it. Hey! You haven't seen another beetle already. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> we have no equipment, no shield on our back, no sword, and in some kind of twisted practical joke, these bacoblins have severed the heads of their brethren and stuffed them all into our pockets where all of our stuff used to be. Even doing this for our adventure pouch. They are really making up for the fact that Fi isn't around to stop us every five seconds. Every five seconds, huh? What do you think? A bomb bag to put them in, but on the bright side, these towers... They're about as durable as a watchtower made out of wood in a fire region. Could expect to be an ouch! Whoa! We get to get our revenge now. Feel my wrath! That's one way to get their attention. Yeah! Gotcha! 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 You all died in record time. And why not? I will enjoy having this toenail explained to me. Yeah! This room was kind of disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no! Speaking of disappointing rooms, ouch! And now we're able to actually get it on. And trust me, I'd get it on with Lanayru Gorge anytime because this place is just that awesome. T, so you're Link from the sky. <laughs> That's not much of a name, is it? Man, I was relishing in the fact that a deity said I had a great name and then someone else told me that it sucked and I was like, ha, oh, you're not a god though, but now I've just kind of broken even and I guess some lowly peasant saying my name is lame is the tiebreaker, isn't it? It's official. My name sucks. I want to read about your glass eyes for the 17th time. I just want that satisfaction. I'm not trying to make the number tick higher. I just want bugs. Thank you. Yeah! You caught one Gerudo dragonfly. These stunning insects have combat eyes more beautiful than rupees and wings transparent as glass. And they will also raise the accuracy of sleep powder up to 98%, making them actually surprisingly viable in single player when you otherwise wouldn't use Butterfree in any other game. There you go. You killed the mood yet again. I would have you face challenges that draw upon the many hardships you've experienced thus far. Like, trying not to cry at that reunion with Zelda. Oh, maybe we can get another little bonus yeah. out of this while we're making our preparations. Ah! I didn't know you could do that! For a second there, I was thinking like, wait, is it gonna travel through me? No, that's kind of incredible that they thought, no, where are you going, groups? Where are you going? No, I need you, I need you. I'm taking up way too much time. If you're wondering how I could have possibly taken more than three minutes to do this fight, it's actually because I've missed the jump onto his head four times in a row. I hope Link is still close to him because my time is running out. 
Uh, where? Bruce? Gru Bruce! Uh, no! <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Sir, um, would you want to see if my shield is in need of a repair? What's all this nonsense? You don't even have any shields that need fixing yet. Isn't it beautiful? I like. <laughs> I'm used to it, but it doesn't mean that I like it. <laughs> and I got. No! You jerk! And here I am saying that she's making the trial easy. No! <laughs> Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. There's a guardian over there near the one that I need to get to to do this. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. They're all on top of me. They're all right on top of me. No, there's another one there. Come on, have mercy. No, <laughs> by mercy, I do not mean come out of the ground and kill me right this very instant, no. Where are the tears? In my eyes is where in this particular moment, but <laughs> come on! Oh gosh! Uh, on. come on! Come on! Roll! Roll! Oh my gosh! Oh! oh! I can't take much more of this. I will never call anything easy ever again as long as I live. I have learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson. Oh my god! <laughs> Even when Zelda is asleep in a rock somewhere, she still manages to mess with us. Bless. Completing our final trial and opening the way to the Triforce. It was quite literally under our nose. This time. And that's almost a five, kind of possibly almost not quite, really not always untrue. Now it's untrue, there we go. Always remember to put the time shift orb right back where you found it. You don't want to unintentionally change history, do you? You see, if you leave that time shift stone in a place that it's not supposed to be, you run the risk of one of the worker robots in the mines noticing that it's not where it's supposed to be, so he takes time out of his day to go put it back where it's supposed to be, causing him to be two minutes later getting home from work than he would have been otherwise, causing him to get hit by a truck that he wouldn't have gotten hit by, meaning that he will never reproduce, his entire family that would have existed in the future never comes to be, and whoop, you've just changed the results of the next presidential election. Yeah, okay, I really like stories like that when I was a kid. Ah, oh, hey, the return of the monster that's putting his bib on. Three eyes is still not enough to see the spills coming. You must make sure that you are clean while eating, yes. Turn around, every now and then I get a little bit lonely. Speaking of Breath of the Wild mechanics making their debut here, thank goodness electricity doesn't make you drop your weapon or your shield. Otherwise, I would have been really boned there. <laughs> but hey, dread fuse. More like dead fuse. No! I don't like your face. Dun 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 I did not mean to call you. Dun 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 bow 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 bow. I need my claw shots. That's the whip. There we go. Hi. Bye. Hi. Bye. Oh, I actually have to fight you because you have a door that you're guarding. Yeah. Okay, so everything we've done in this journey, we got to do it three more times so that we can get two more master swords to offer them to all these pedestals, right? What? You thought you'd revisited the regions enough? Nah, you got to do it again. Uh, uh, uh. So you like munching balls, do ya? I'll give you a ball to munch on. There you go. And you know what? Just because there's two of you, I'll give you... Balls to 
munch on. Apparently they didn't like that idea. Come on! <laughs> I am sorry to whatever robot I will kill by changing the course of history, by leaving this here and causing you to be a few minutes late getting home from work that day. I don't know, maybe I'll change the history in a good way, like the robot that's a few minutes later getting home from work than he would have been in the other timeline, he ends up making it home a few minutes late, which somehow leads to him buying a lottery ticket, becoming super rich, and then he's actually the presidential candidate in the presidential election that I wind up changing. Possibly, maybe, almost, good. Okay. At least I stopped myself from getting a bad case of heartburn. What about you, Link? What will you do now? Well, you see, this untamed wilderness is without heroes, so I got this great idea to bring order to the land. I call it... The Post Office. Sorry, bro. Didn't mean to steal your thunder. And that's been The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword.